Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and today I'm gonna give you my best picture settings on this TV right here. This is the Samsung DU6900. Now this is a 50 inch, but again, they make it up to 75 inch. You can try these settings in all the sizes, not guaranteed they'll work, but I will tell you that out of the factory, this TV is pretty accurate. Here's the before I did the calibration, and the biggest thing to pay attention to is the RGB balance. And after the calibration, you can see that the RGB balance is a little bit more in line. But personally, when I looked at the television when I was done, I can barely tell the difference. And I'll show you some examples in just a minute. Now the thing about calibration, it is very specific to your television. So I calibrate this TV in order to get the best picture on any television that you have. It is best to have a professional come to your home. And on average, I think that's around 250 to $300. But here's the thing. If you wanna try my settings on this particular TV, I'm not charging anything, this is absolutely free, just to go in and see if you can get a better look out of it. I want to also show you some screenshots of what the calibration software actually looks like when you're going through the process, and it takes around two to three hours per television. But I want to give you the settings so you can go try it out on your own television so you can see if it's worth even investing in having a professional come to your home. So I want to show you a difference, and just to be honest with you, I don't really think you need to calibrate this television, the best picture mode basically comes out of the box so here it is on movie mode and here it is on the calibration setting which is the filmmakers mode and as i go back and forth the difference is is so tiny again i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell the difference but this video is all about giving you the best settings because you're asking for it and here's one more example right now it is in movie mode from the factory and here's the filmmakers mode which is the calibrated settings Again, you can barely tell the difference in these two. It's really on the lower end of the contrast, but there you go. With that being said, let's go and jump into settings and I'll give you all my settings to put your television in this mode. And I will tell you that it may not work on larger televisions. This is a 50 inch TV that I'm using, but you can always try it on the other sizes. Using the remote control, go into the settings and you can choose whatever picture mode that you want. Again, I chose filmmakers mode, but I would recommend you use economic just because most people don't use that one, but that'll be up to you. But let's go ahead and give you the settings that the software made when I was setting this up. So now we're gonna go into the expert mode and I'll go through these one by one. Now, first of all, we're gonna put the brightness at 50, contrast at 45. Now sharpness, you can increase it according to your liking. When you use calibration software, it turns off pretty much all the settings. For its colors, we're at 25, tent at zero, and you can select all sources, so no matter which HDMI input you use, it will give you these settings. Now when it comes to picture clarity, you definitely wanna turn this back on, and this is where you're gonna control your judder and motion. If you do not turn this back on, your picture might look choppy. Uh, contrast enhance, again, that's something you can play around with. My whole goal of this video is to give you the calibration settings. So right now in here, we have warm two as far as the color tone. And now let's go into white balance. So under two point white balance, again, the calibration software did this completely automatic. We're gonna leave the red gain at zero, the green gain at negative nine, the blue gain at negative six, the red offset at negative two, the green offset at zero, and the blue offset at negative one. So I'll leave this up just for a second so you can check it out, and you can set up your TV this way. Now let's go ahead and go back, and let's take a look at the 10 point settings. Now if you notice, the 10 point settings turned off, and the great thing is, you don't even have to do anything. You just leave it off, and we're all set. Now back on the expert settings, we have gamma at BT1886. The level is at zero. The shadow details at zero. And then we have the color space settings. Now right now you can see it's under custom. Let's go ahead and press on that. And there's a lot of adjustments in here. Again, this is a very minor fix, but this is a calibrated setting. So there's gonna be about five colors here. So let's go into each one. So far as red, you're looking at 50 far as red. You're looking at 68 for green and 66 for blue. If we press on the color, we can then switch down to the green. Under green, we have red at 100, 
We have green at 60 and we have blue at 65. Let's press it again, go over to blue. Under blue, we have red at 67, green at 80, and blue at 76. Press it again, go down to yellow. Under yellow, we have red at 50, the green at 50, and the blue at 25. Press it again, go down to Scion. Under Scion, we have red at 75, green at 50, and blue at 75. And the last one is magenta. Under magenta, we have red at 25, green at 71, and blue at 75. So that is the settings for the custom color space. Now from there, again, these color boosters and things like that, you can turn off or turn on. You can play around with it till you get the best picture, but the calibrating settings are all the color points that I told you. You can reset it back to factory right there, as you can see. So if you don't like these settings, you can reset that particular picture mode and you'll be back like you was before we started this video. So there's my best picture mode for this particular television. Again, that is a calibrated setting. And I know a lot of people make these, these are my best settings, but I like to use software because we know it's more accurate than me guessing at it. It might not work on your television, but I think it's worth a try just to see if it improves your picture quality. Now, last thing I wanna ask you guys, if you like these type of videos and you want me to start adding these type of calibration videos to all my future television reviews, leave me a comment below. And if you try it out, Leave me a comment, tell me if you like it or didn't like it. With that being said, I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.